All right, so, so what's up? All right, so we can go through the different technologies that we're demoing here. You asked about the camera. Yeah, I saw my face. Yep, so let's... Uh... Look, you guys, that's me. So it did a scan of your face. So oh, the idea here is that we could possibly um, link your face to uh, your profile. So it recognized you when you got in the car, and now it's recognizing your head position and your if your eyes are opened or shut. And so we can use this for some... Welcome to safe driving mode. Please look forward. So if you look forward, you can see those green rectangles around your eyes. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that up there. Can you see this, John? I think you need to be from my perspective, but there's actually, in the windshield, there's a... Heads-up display. A there's a heads-up display, that's what it's called. It's a reflective thing, it's shooting out from under there, I assume. Yep. All right, I so... I can do a demo of that if you want. I mean, just whatever you sure. think is coolest, man, I'm, I'm here for you. All right. So you can see the heads-up display now. So I'll load a... Uh, a map here, a navigation route, and you should be able to see it start moving once the oh, yeah, I do. route's initiated. Feels weird to not be driving. <laughs> so the idea is that you could present several types of information on the heads-up display. It would be um, displayed on your windshield. So when you're driving, it could give you information on different turns that you need to take, how fast you're going, if you're going too fast. So we kind of... Uh, have featured there several different options, but there would probably be some levels of customization that you would need because you don't want all of that in your face Absolutely. while you're driving. So it looks like I have various apps here that I can scroll through. Yep, there are a few There's different... Pandora. I assume that this is for uh, Bluetooth and other type of things? Yeah, so this is actually to make a connection between your smartphone and what's being displayed on the uh, infotainment system. So I can, oh, so I could maybe get like yeah, my email up so there or something like that? Okay. So this actually uh, takes what is displayed on the phone and is displaying it right here. So you can interact with that or that. Awesome. So I can... This seems unsafe, though. Can I do it with my voice? Well, this one uh, doesn't have voice integration because the Cause actually the phone? the phone is powering everything here. Okay. But um, certain apps would have to be locked out while you're driving, of course. Oh, you okay. don't want to be watching videos. You don't want to be email. Right, looking at photos, checking email. But for music and navigation... Those types of things. You can see that you have those there. Say you had some additional music on your phone that you wanted to play in the infotainment system. You can just load it on there from there. Can we talk a little bit about what NFC is here for? Sure. There, it says NFC there. And that's supposed to be big So deal. NFC, yeah, near field communication. There are endless possibilities, I guess, of what you what types of information you could uh, push to your infotainment system using NFC. We have kind of a uh, an example for entertainment types of purposes here. Okay. So, let's say you're a loyal customer, and because you're such a loyal customer, you earn some free um, music and a new theme to uh, restyle your instrument panel. Oh. So we'll launch the application. <coughs> and so now I'm prompted to hold the card near the reader. Oh, and wow. Okay, so... Now I'm going to download my new theme and my new song. So, click that. So it just gave me a new screen skin. Well, is that what you're saying? Well, first it downloaded the song. Oh, and now so I got to see it change there with the new skin. Oh, you like that, John? Yeah, the cameraman likes that a lot. Okay. All right. Um, you can you just? My last question is, what are these for? Yeah, These so just touch um, buttons. two different types of switches there. Let me uh, let me just turn, down turn the music. this down. <laughs> yeah. This one's just kind of like a normal um, physical switch that might be in a vehicle now, but or use the like same. That. Yeah, it's the same type of uh, interaction. <laughs> but instead of moving the switch, you just have to touch it. Now this one is a motion sensor, so. I'll show you that one. And it, for our implementation here, we have two uh, different gestures that are recognized. So um, we'll show it uh, with regard to uh, controlling your uh, HVAC system. So the first gesture is kind of a push button, and you don't actually have to touch it, and it moves through. So if you want to try that. Why, why would someone want to do this instead of... Well, let's say touch to, something. 
maybe you wouldn't want to use this alone, but if it were coupled with voice or another technology, maybe you can use them together to reduce the amount of time that your eyes are off the road. So oh, if you okay. said, I want to look at my, my HVAC system using voice, and then you know what your gestures are, then you don't necessarily have to take your eyes off and look at that. Another thing here, if you want to turn now the setting on or off, the other gesture that it recognizes is kind of this swiping gesture where I turn it on or off. There you go. I'm going to mess everything up. We're turning it up way up, except for the fact that the AC is off now. <laughs> okay. Right, but you got some good exercise. I did. Well, very cool. Thank you so much for chatting with us. I appreciate it. I'm going to take the mic back. All right. Thanks. All right.